Okay, here we have some pesos. This is a 50,000. Um, 600,000 is $200. 300,000 is $100. So that'll give you some idea. This is a 20,000. Here's a 10,000. 5,000. 2,000. I want you to notice this. See, here's a 2,000. You see the difference in size? Their bills have different sizes. And here we have some coins. This is a thousand, five hundred, and these are one hundred. These are less than a penny, I believe. Okay, and that's the money. Okay, up on this hill, just overlooking, I'm in the building, and it's just a few blocks away. You see, that's a Cinemark. That's a big digital theater. I don't know how many, 10, 12, uh, in there. It's being a small city, it has a small skyline, but this will give you some idea of uh, what we're dealing with. That's the uh, El Centro area. And because I'm down near the base of the hill and these are on the top, there's so much you can't see that's actually on the other side of these. And of course the ever-present mountains in the background. Yeah, it looks a little ominous, but the weather's been absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's raining in the mountains, but it's beautiful here and has been all day. The middle car there is the uh, it is Janet's car, and this is the parking area for the building. There's an electric gate up that alleyway there, or driveway, and it comes down here and parks as undercover. Of course, there's still some bird poop on her hood because she lets it stick out, but um, that's it. Say hello. Hello. What's your name? <laughs> we already know you, but we didn't say your name. Johnny. All right. And what's your name? Hello, Javier. Dad, sister, brother. And we're here going to have chorizo that I've been waiting 15 years to find. <laughs> Darwin Brothers. What is, what is despago? Hmm? Despago. Despa? Despego. Despego. What is Take that? Take off. Hmm. But in here, he's not like taking off. Like a <laughs> Oh, yes, a ringer. Too cold. 
Well, it's and a good story. To stop it. It's a good story. Easy plane, the airplanes are tiny, just for 30 passengers. That's it's fine. It's scary. It's one hour. No. That's scary. I, I took one in April to go to Medellin. It was scary. Well, although the flight was was not that scary, but for me, it is because I'm, I'm afraid oh of traveling by plane. Okay, so tell me a little about yourself. Well, I'm Colombian. I was born in Santa Marta, which is the coast region of the country, but I didn't grow up there. I grew up in Cali. And Cali is known about the salsa because people dance salsa very well. Like it's the capital of salsa in the world. And I moved to Armenia, I think, 10 years ago. Did you live anywhere else? I lived in, in New York, but it was an exchange program. I was an au pair there. So one year you were in New York? Yeah, one year there. Okay. What do, would you say are the differences in the, in the cities if somebody's thinking about coming here? Who would like to go to Cali? Who would like to go to Medellin? Who would like to go to Armenia? What kind of people? Well, if you like, if you're very cosmopolitan and you like big cities, the big cities in Colombia are Medellin, Cali, Barranquilla, and of course the capital, which is Bogota. But if you like a, a, play, a peaceful place, quiet, enjoy nature, you should come to Armenia or the, the coffee region, Pereira, Manizales, Armenia. It's very peaceful, safe, people are very kind. Okay. Uh, well, you did this a little bit, but describe Armenia and what kind of person might like to live here. Well, you just did that. Uh, but, but Armenia is not a big city, it's a small city. But uh, as I said before, it's very safe. Uh, the lifestyle is very peaceful. And many, right now, many people from other cities, like from capitals, big cities, they come to, when they retired, they come to live in Armenia, just because we have a nice lifestyle. Now you said there's a lot of gringos that live near here? Uh, Salento? Yeah, many people, they come to Salento, which is a very famous um, town. It's known because they have the national uh, uh, tree of Colombia, which is the Wax Palm tree. And it, the landscape is awesome. Like, I'm from here, I have gone thousands of times and never get bored because it's like a, a painting, the landscape, the view. So many, many foreigners, they, uh, they have to stop in Salento to make, to know the place and visit it. It's more expensive to live there. No. No? No. To live in, in Armenia and in the towns is cheap. Like, uh, Armenia is a very cheap city but compared Sal to other ones in Salento. Colombia. Salento is also cheap. It's just a uh, uh, town in right. India. Okay. Um, what would you say a good lifestyle, uh, nothing extravagant, but a nice lifestyle would cost every month? Here in Armenia, it will cost, if you have, want to have a very good lifestyle, I think with, with 1,000, uh, 1, 5, 500 or 300, you can live very well. Like going out a lot, have a good night, uh, lifestyle. Okay, and I already checked that. That's about uh, $1,300. Mm -hmm. Now, on that, if let's say you had a very quiet life and you live modest, a small apartment, but, you know, you still go out sometimes. Uh, what do you think that life would be? $1,000. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, how much is a typical house or an apartment in a, in a nice area? Right. The nicest area here in Armenia is in the north part. It's like the best neighborhood where rich people live. And I was checking recently, 
and it calls for a, an apartment in the best neighborhood, uh, $500, with three bedrooms. Uh, the decoration is very, very like elegant. Yeah. Comfort is very comfortable. And if 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 I was just an average Armenian and I'm looking for an apartment, maybe two bedroom, what would I pay for that? Three hundred dollars or less. All right. Um, is it difficult to rent? Well, it depends on the landlord because some people, they just go and you talk to them and you come to an agreement. But others, you have to sign a lease and they ask you uh, for a co-signer. Co signer. Yeah, so it depends on, on the landlord. Do they um, usually want the, the first rent and a deposit or just the first rent? The first rent. The first rent, yeah. But you have to, like a contract, at least you have to tell them if you're going to stay for six months, like how long sure. you will stay. Okay. What would you say would be the biggest challenge here in Armenia for a foreigner? The biggest challenge? Well, I don't know. Life here is perfect. But... Language. Oh, could be. Language, yeah. But there are many people who speak English in here. Yes, for example, in some in some restaurants, they speak in English. There's yeah. so many English language school, and you didn't here. And you yeah, they have. That. What do you do for a living? Well, I'm an English teacher. <laughs> yes, I work with the government in an institution. Yeah. Okay. Um, and how do people in Armenia feel about North Americans? Well, people here are very kind. We are very welcoming. So if you need any help, they will help you out. They, they like to know if uh, Americans in the university, of, there is a university here the, of the city, University of Quindío, and there are many foreigners who volunteer to go there and give classes and, and talk about culture with local people in here. So we, we, we like you to come because we're used to it because this is a touristic uh, city. And one last question. 15 years ago in this area, nobody was speaking English, but so many people are trying. That's why there's so many places now mm -hmm. teaching. Why are they learning English? Just because the need, because I said before, this is a, a tourist city, oh. so. So the more language you have, the more flexible, the more opportunity. Exactly. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. You know you're cool.